traffic from search is disrupted. But there's a new source of traffic, AI. It's a really interesting time to do marketing, and this is a moment when we can start to measure. There's enough of it now. You should be able to find it. Measure traffic from AI sources to your website using Google Analytics, both traffic and leads. I'm Andy from Orbit Media. I've been doing analytics forever, and I'm going to show you now how to use something from the report section and something from the explorations to track traffic from AI. Let's jump in. I'm seeing research that suggests that traffic from AI is actually more engaged. They spend more time. They have stronger intent. Look at this data from SimilarWeb shared by Kevin Indig. It looks like Copilot, Perplexity, ChatGPT all have higher session durations and, and non-bounce page views than Google Search. Is that true? Check for yourself. Look in your own data. Here's where to look. I'm inside Google Analytics and I'm looking for traffic from AI. So obviously I should go to the reporting section, go to the acquisition section and choose traffic acquisition. Now the default primary dimension in the traffic acquisition report is the primary channel group. We need to change that to show the session source medium because ChatGPT is a source. Referral traffic from other websites is a medium. So a source is the specific origin of traffic and medium is the broader origin of traffic. So we're going to look there. Now it's going to show me everything. The simplest, fastest way is to simply search for chat here and it shows me ChatGPT and I can start to see over here on the right, my engagement, my conversion, key event rates, the number of key events. I'm going to zoom in on that and show you all the source mediums filtered out a little bit of noise here, but you can start to see. This is over the last 90 days. I'm looking at traffic from all these different traffic sources. And in fact, it does show that it's true. The conversion rates from visitors from, a, from ChatGPT are literally twice as high as the conversion rates from visitors from Google. I don't know, people t trust AI or people put in really long prompts slash queries with tons of parameters and they think that they're really on the right, the right provider. But keep in mind, compare the amount here. Look at the totals. Organic, traffic, organic Google traffic still way, way more traffic. It's a much, much larger number. I'm literally reporting to you like six leads. So uh, this is, you can see I've selected the specific key event up here at the top, contact lead, selected the specific key event over here, contact lead. And so you can see, obviously SEO is not dead. There's millions of people right now looking, um, looking for things on the web. Many people looking for your specific products and services using Google right now, almost certainly. But that's interesting and it's kind of validating and we're not looking at general data. You can actually just check for yourself to see engagement rates, traffic and conversion rates, just looking in the report section. There's another way to do this. We can go create a custom exploration and in the exploration, we can basically build a much more specific report for this to look at just AI traffic, but also broad enough to look at all the various sources for AI traffic. Let's build an exploration to track traffic from AI. Okay, so I'm back here on Google Analytics. I'm gonna to go to the explore section. Explorations are basically custom reports. I'm gonna to click to start a blank exploration. And the difference is in here, you specifically choose just the dimensions and metrics that you're looking for. I'm gonna call this traffic from AI sources. It's a name I've used before. I'll put V2 on here. The dimension, I'm looking for page referrers, the, sort, the, the domain of the page that sent people here. So th that's a dimension. So I'm gonna come in here and just type referrers. There it is, page and screen, the referrer. I had a custom one here, I'm not using that. Uh, and then for the metric, we can just choose, let's say sessions, just overall visits. In the code words here in analytics, a visit is called a session, a visit is called a user. You maybe already knew that. Come in here, choose sessions, click confirm. Now I have those two dimensions. Now when I add these, I'll make a line chart. When I add these, I'm going to make the breakdown. You can tell the, the greens are the dimensions and the blues are the metrics. The breakdown is page refer. And you can click or just drag it in here. The, the value is the sessions. This is all the sessions and all, this is all the sources and all the mediums, but I just want to see AI. So I'm going to make a filter. Now the filter for page refer that will show me just AI traffic is going to be, is, is kind of complicated. It's a regular expression, which is a string that describes a data set. And the regular expression for this has to be kind of complicated, right? It's a little bit involved because it could be from all kinds of different AI sources. I'm going to show you now a regular expression that I created with the help of AI to describe just that type of page refer. Here's what it looks like. Whoa, what? That looks like code. Andy, what are you doing? But actually, slow down. Take a look. It, it makes perfect sense, right? Each slash is escaped by the backslash. You've got meta.ai, perplexity, chat, GPT, Claude, Mistral, Gemini. It's actually all here. Although looking at this now, I think I should probably add DeepSeek, but you get the idea. This is a description of traffic from AI sources. And if I add this as a filter using a, you know, matches regex, matches regular expression as the filter, it should show me just AI. So down here, I'm going to simply copy and paste that in. The condition is matches regex. 
There it is. There's my super long weird string. And I put that in and now it's only showing. Look, ChatGPT, Perplexity, Gemini, Claude, not enough data. Let's go back. Now you can get a year's worth of data in here. I'm gonna go choose the last 12 months and click apply. If the last 12 months aren't available, if this is only showing you two months, quick timeout, there's a setting you need to change. It's in the data retention. Come down here, click on the gear for admin, scroll down, go to data retention settings and make sure this is set to 14 months. It's absurd they could do analysis with only two months of data. This only really applies to the, to the explorations, but still, if you haven't done that yet, you need to do that so you can track this. We're looking at a trend that's over more than a year. Coming back to my exploration, come back here and, I, and there it is. So this is all the traffic over the last year from those specific sources. And I'm going to change the granularity because that's really hard to read. I'm going to switch to weak. Now, there's two problems in Google Analytics tracking traffic from AI. One is that all the traffic from an app, I use the ChatGPT app all the time, are not tracked as referrer traffic. In fact, Google Analytics doesn't know anything about that visitor. They fall into direct, kind of a black hole. So this is we can just immediately assume that we're under-reporting a ton of visitors here because we can't separate direct traffic into the more specific sources. Another problem with reporting is that it's under-reporting everything anyway because not everybody accepts cookies. Some people are in incognito mode. Okay, so we take this with a grain of salt. Probably actual traffic from these sources is much higher. The line chart's interesting, but where are they landing? That's a different report. Let's build that now. Okay, I'm back. I'm back here. I don't need to make another new exploration. I'm still tracking traffic from AI sources, so I'm just going to make a new tab for this. So I click on new tab. I'm going to make a freeform exploration. To find where they're landing, I need one more dimension, the landing page dimension. So I'm going to click on the, the plus here. I'm going to type in landing page, landing page and query string. That'll be fine. Click confirm. And now I'm going to create a table formatted uh, GA4 exploration that shows landing pages. So for my row, I'm just going to choose the landing page. That'll be the rows of my chart. Uh, for the values, again, I'm going to just choose sessions. Um, I could add more to this. I could add engagement rate or some other things. Uh, it, but now I'm going to add a column showing the page referrer. So when I go to, the, so click page referrer. But again, I'm looking at all the traffic sources here. Google is obviously the big winner on this report. Uh, so I'm going to come in here and, and again, create that filter to only show when the page referrer matches regular expression, and then paste in that long string, regular expressions. Okay, uh, I find these easier to read when they are uh, heat maps rather than the, the bar charts. So I'm gonna change the cell type to heat map. And now that I'm all done building it, I'm gonna close these, these um, variables and settings columns, and I can start to see it here. Looks pretty good. Uh, so over the last year, uh, the visitors who came from ChatGPT, some of them, do it doesn't show the landing page, the data was not sent, uh, but the home page is the number one winner, followed by blog posts, which types of blog posts. Now you can do some analysis. Perplexity, Gemini, some of these are sending more traffic to certain articles. You start to get a sense for what people are clicking through to get to from their AI responses. Uh, so it's an opportunity now, and there's enough traffic now, and there should be plenty of data for you to go back and start to look at these traffic sources. Another measurement issue that is inherent to Google Analytics and a problem for people trying to measure traffic from AI is that there are now AI agents, agentic AI, you may have heard the phrase. Uh, people have tools that are going and crawling around the web and coming back and helping the user make a decision by you know, creating charts and tables and even taking actions such as going to websites and filling out the contact forms and setting up meetings. Agents go outside the AI, they do things, they take action, they can do things on a schedule, they can send you an email. Agents are not tracked in Google Analytics for a very simple and obvious reason. They don't take cookies. So that's the opportunity and the challenge of tracking traffic from AI. As you can see, there is clearly traffic, uh, you know, number of visits. You can see engagement rate for these visitors, these humans who come and who, the humans who accept the cookies. The conversion rates are people who come from AI sources more or less likely to take an action, become a lead, raise their hand, contact you, reach out. Uh, so it's, uh, there's enough data in your account most likely for you to begin to see patterns and trends inside this and adjust your marketing accordingly. Again, this is Andy from Orbit Media. If you didn't know, Orbit is a web development company that builds and optimizes websites to improve lead generation for mid-market brands. We're based in Chicago, but we work with manufacturing companies, healthcare, tech, uh, the, all kinds of you know, financial companies, higher ed. Uh, and if you need help with any of those things, feel free to reach out. Uh, and if you know someone else who's interested in tracking traffic from AI sources, uh, feel free to share this. We'd be grateful. Thanks. See you next time.